when Mason came to us, no American player had ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it, because no one had ever done it. Mason Cox, redshirt senior from Island Village, Texas. Oh. He's only played six minutes all year. I went to Oklahoma State University, so I started out playing basketball when I was a freshman. I'd never picked up a basketball in my life, really. We played at the rec center, and there was a GA at the women's team, and she asked, would you be interested in helping out? Pretty much called the Dream Team, and they played against the women's team and practiced other teams and played against them. I was kind of like, yeah, cool, like, what do I get out of it? And she goes, oh, we'll give you a free pair of shoes and maybe some kit, and I was like, sweet. The men's team saw me training with the women's team, and one of the coaches said, who's that massive dude who's playing with the women's team? Like, why don't we have someone like that? I was in way over my head, barely could make a layup, and I was just a body bag. We got a call. They wanted me to go to LA to try out for this thing called AFL, of Aussie Rules Football. And we both looked at each other and said, what the hell is that? And it comes up and it's like AFL's biggest hits. I just kind of look at him and laughing and going, is this really a sport? <laughs> well, I'd already accepted a six-figure paying job at ExxonMobil. So I went to the tryouts. Everyone that was there was interested in myself. It became pretty serious pretty quickly. That week, I threw the cap in the air, you know, I got the degree on stage, made my parents proud. A week later, I flew to Australia and my life changed. The whole concept of me coming to Australia was just to give me a showcase of what AFL was. Saw my first AFL game, sat next to a North Melbourne player. He explained to me, you know, that's six points, that's a point. Hits the post, it's worth a point. You know, they point the opposite direction whenever they really mean that way. And at the end of it, I remember he goes, okay, cool, so these are the teams that are interested in you. Here's the contracts. Um, let me know what you think. The international rookies are whopping 211 centimetres, the same height as Aaron Sanderlands. Looks quite exciting. I remember getting on the plane and I thought, what have I just done? I've just given up five years of hard work and thousands of dollars of education to go play a sport I've never heard of in a place I've never been with no friends or no family in, in Melbourne. They stuck a footy in my hand and I thought it was uh, pretty much a rugby ball. Like I had no idea if the kangaroo skin and a Sharon is like the name of it. And I don't know, like it was all so foreign to me when I first started. He's kangaroo kicking skin. there. His kicking was quite average. It was a crash course, essentially, of just what AFL was. Craig McRae and Anthony Rocker spent two and a half months with me and come around training the first day. It was sink or swim, really. We do this one drill, and you get a handball off to the coach, and, of course, Box is the one who you're handballing to. Go to handball to him. And I just remember looking at it, I look back and going, OK, we've got a bit of work to do here. I, like, locked eyes for a second. You know, I could just see in my mind, just, what have we recruited? players generally had a lot going on but Mason's still trying to work out this new game whether he fits if he fits am I embarrassing myself but at the end of the year I got to the point where I was thinking I might actually feel comfortable in an AFL game Fox was the first one to tell me he came out and said look you're going to debut and that week was a massive week it's Anzac Day obviously and it's one of the biggest games of the year the crowd's 90,000 plus the stadium is massive it just leans over the top of it so that's challenging enough I walked out there and I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. I was freaking out, you know, I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking, don't screw up, just whatever you do, don't screw up, don't screw up. More low trajectory kick. Well, this could be a parent Oh, mate, he's shitting himself. And I can't imagine what it's like to try and drop the ball that extra foot and a half to get it onto your foot. My hands would have been like this, holding that ball. Mason Clutch. And he rides it home. Not that we needed to keep him grounded, but it was our job to keep him grounded. Stands at the MCG to steady this wobbling It's bloody hard. It's a big step from the VFL footy that he was playing to playing AFL footy. At the end of 17, I was playing VFL, you know, I'd gotten dropped a few times, we were playing small. He had to set himself a new goal of being one of the best forwards in the competition. Saturday night football at the Coliseum. Comes through Cox, drops what he should have taken. Oh, he couldn't block out the big fella. Mason Cox here, guys. This was just off the ball. Uh, the worst game of my career, I can probably say that pretty comfortably. I don't think I had a single mark the whole game. And 
had maybe six touches or something and get suspended for the next week. Probably a lower moment in my life, I'd say, of thinking, do I choose the right decision? Mason Cox can do as a permanent forward. I suspect Ben Rude can do better. I said, you know what? This is a last ditch effort to show him what you're worth, to show him you can do this as a job. This is your career that you want to do for the rest of your life. What a beast this Tiger has become on and off the field. 22 consecutive wins at the MCG. It's hard to get your head around it, to be honest. We played Richmond twice and been overrun twice through the year. This could be the biggest game that Mason Cox never gets a kick in. Prelim final MCG. Matt Stevey holds the ball aloft. Richmond take on Collingwood. It happened pretty early. He was in. It was clunk, clunk, clunk. Okay. Okay. His hands are on, mate. They, they, they just stuck. Could you have pictured that four years, five years earlier with the guy that handballed over the top of my head? Um, definitely not. And Collingwood will go in to the 2018 Grand Final. A famous victory on the back of this man here. I don't believe in ceilings. I don't believe in people setting limitations on others. I think if you're motivated enough and you care enough or that determined to get to wherever you want to go, it's, it's possible. You can't write the script any better. Well, you could have. We could have won the grand final. Imagine that story. Time. He did a good job. Never stop believing.